Hello, and welcome to this walkthrough of the Roberts iStream 3L. This is a DAB, FM, and internet radio. I'm going to take you through the main features and show you how to get the most out of it. Underneath, we've got the power input and a line output. So now the power's connected, I'm going to switch it on at the wall. And we see the startup screen appear. The first thing it's going to do is ask which language we want to use. We can change the language by turning this dial on the right. I'm going to choose English and I push to choose. And the next thing we get asked to do is to run the setup wizard. We can hit the button to continue. And I'm going to use the startup wizard, but you don't have to. First thing we get asked is about the time format. So 12 or 24 hour clock. I quite like a 12 hour clock. And auto update. So this is asking now how we want the clock to be set. We can choose update from DAB, which is through the air, FM, or through the network. The default is the network. This means your Wi-Fi. And it choose, choose your time zone. So we're going to go with Dublin and London. Daylight savings. This is whether we're in British summertime or GMT, if you're in the UK. So right now it's winter time, so I'm saying off. And this option here, keep network connected. The default is on. This means that if I want to use something like Spotify, then the, the radio will be connected to the internet more of the time and will be available more of the time. It uses a little bit more electricity doing it that way around, but it generally makes the product more useful. So I'm going to say, yes, keep network connected. And now it's scanning for Wi-Fi. So now I'm going to choose my Wi-Fi. And I'm going to put in my password. And now it's connecting to the network. Setup is complete. Press select to exit. Now here we are at the main mode screen of the radio. That's accessed by pushing the mode button. So if I can push the mode button here, it takes me back to this radio screen. And I can turn the dial to choose a different mode. So let's have a look at internet radio so I can stream internet radio stations. And again, I can go through the menus. They're categorized. So let's go UK and there's BBC. And we can choose Radio 2, for example. And I'll just choose Radio 2. And that is now playing BBC Radio 2. Now I can, if I want to, save it as a preset because there's a lot of steps to find a radio station. So I'm going to push and hold the preset button. And it says Save Preset. And I can choose a slot here. So I'm going to say Slot 2, Select. So just to recap, let's let's go and find another radio station. To find a new radio station from this setting here, I can press the menu button, which is these three bars here. Push that. Then I can choose station list. I'm going to go UK, BBC. This time I'll choose Radio 1. Radio 1. Now it's playing BBC Radio 1 through the internet. I'm going to push and hold the preset button. And I'm going to save it in slot 1. Now, for real world use, we don't have a lot of time to go through menus. We may want to just quickly change the radio station. So to do that, I just quickly press the preset button. And it brings up the list of presets. Choose my new radio station. Hit go. And now I'm listening to Radio 2 again. So let's take a look at another mode. If I push the mode button here, it brings up this list. The next one is podcasts. There's more information online in the handbook about that. We're not going to go into that in great detail now. After that is DAB. So the first time you load DAB, it will scan for radio stations. And we can see the progress bar traveling through and as it's looking for radio stations. 
Now, the first thing that happens is we see a station list. We're presented with all the different radio stations that it found during its scan. And a bit like before, I can use this dial to choose a radio station. So I might choose Radio 4. And as you can see, the DAB logo has come up and it's playing Radio 4. Adjust the volume. When a DAB radio station is playing, certain information will be displayed on the screen. And there's lots of information available generally, and we can cycle through the information available by using the I button here. So the I button changes the information on the screen. So right now it's showing details about the program that's playing. If I push it, that will now show the genre, which is talk. And now it gives me details about the frequency that's being received and the signal strength. So it shows a nice strong signal there and some details about the audio quality and today's date. Much like before, I can use presets to store radio stations. So this being Radio 4, I'm going to push and hold preset and I'm going to turn the dial down to slot 4 and press save. And much as before, I can press preset quickly and I can use it to recall a radio station. Moving on to the next mode, we have FM radio. FM radio is an analog radio system, so you need to tune it into a certain frequency. Being an RDS radio, it means that it'll retrieve information about the radio station you're listening to and display that on the screen. So to tune it, we can simply push the dial and it will automatically scan and find the next station. And here at the bottom here, we see the, the word or the letters RDS and stereo and the signal strength. And it's picked up BBC Radio 2. We can push the I button to see more information and you can see it's pop music, the frequency and today's date. If I was using the radio in, in my bedroom and I wanted to listen to the radio and have it on for a certain amount of time before I go to sleep, we can use the sleep function. So you can see down here on the alarm button here, there's a, it says the word sleep. So if I push and hold this button, it now says sleep off because there's no sleep. If I turn this dial, I can choose an amount of time. So I'm going to choose 15 minutes and select. Now at the bottom of the screen here, you'll see a little bed icon with 15 next to it. What that means is, it's a countdown timer of 15 minutes. After 15 minutes is finished, the volume of the radio station will gradually fade out and it'll switch off, which is a really nice feature if you're using it in a bedroom. I'm going to cancel the sleep, however, so I'll push and hold it again and turn sleep. Moving on to the next mode, we have aux in. Aux in means I can connect something like a, an MP3 player or some other device to this socket here, which is labeled aux in, using a standard 3.5 millimeter jack plug. And of course, next to the aux in, we have the headphones output. The headphones output will disable the sound coming out of the loudspeaker and enable you to listen to whatever is playing through headphones. Moving on to the next mode, we have Spotify. Spotify is a music service that's available through your Wi-Fi. To use it, what you do is you use your phone or your computer and look inside your app at the available Spotify Connect loudspeakers. In the list, you should see a speaker called iStream 3L. And if we choose it, this is what will happen. This is now streaming Spotify music directly from the internet and I'm able to control it from my computer or my phone. It really is a fantastically convenient way to listen to music at home. I can adjust the volume of the radio also from my computer or my phone directly or I can just adjust the volume by adjusting the volume here. Let's move on to the next mode. So with Amazon Music, what you need to do is to download the Undock app from the App Store or the Google Play Store, choose Amazon Music and enter your login. This will enable the radio to access the library of Amazon Music that's available and allow you to play it. 
Let's move on to the next mode. Deezer is similar. Deezer, you can actually log in directly on the device, but actually it's more easy to do it through the app. So again, go online, download the Undock app, and you should be able to use Deezer if that's your music service of preference. Press mode again. Bluetooth. Bluetooth works very much as any other standard Bluetooth loudspeaker. Simply go to your device, look in the Bluetooth settings, and you should find iStream 3L as an available Bluetooth device when it says looking for device. Simply choose the device to pair to it, and away you go. USB playback. So USB playback is a mode which allows you to store media on a USB disc and simply plug it into the top here and you'll be able to navigate through the various folders and tracks and play back directly off your USB stick. So back on internet radio now, it's worth talking about menus a minute. So all modes will have their own menu with specific functions that are intended for that mode. So in internet radio mode, I can push the menu button and I've got a shortcut to listen to the last listen station or directly access the station list we can access the recall preset or save preset. We can access sleep, which is the same thing as pushing this button. We can also set alarms. And then there's a system settings, which takes us into another menu where we can choose an equalizer. And this equalizer allows me to tailor the sound of the device to my preference. So I'm going to keep it as normal. To go back out of the menu, I push the menu button. Audio quality. This is to do with the amount of streaming data that's being used. Generally, normal quality is absolutely fine. Network. This allows me to choose different network settings or start the network setup wizard. Perhaps if I take it to another place with a different Wi-Fi. And we've got options to adjust the time and date and the brightness. Language, I can adjust the language. And a factory reset, which will clear all your settings and all your presets. So don't use that unless you really mean it. And software update allows you to check for a software update. And at Robert, occasionally from time to time, we may tweak features and update it. And that allows you to check. Back out. Info gives you details about the software version that's currently running. If I change the mode to DAB, we can have a look at the DAB mode and its associated menu. So I'll push the menu button. Again, I can access recall and save. Scan allows me to rescan for new radio stations. Or if I really want, I can do a manual tune as well. There's an option here called prune. Now, if you've moved to a different area and you do a scan and there's lots of new radio stations, you may see in the, in the station list a number of radio stations with a little question mark at the start. That means it knows about a radio station that can no longer find it. And what prune does is it tidies up. It removes all these radio stations which can no longer be found. And those are all the main features of the Roberts iStream 3L. I do hope you enjoyed learning about this product. Thank you for watching.